everybody. It is December 10th, 2021 in Big Bear Lake. This is the snowfall aftermath from the little snow we just had. Um, doesn't even look like we had any snow, does it? But we did. It's kind of hard to see. Oh my gosh, our auto zone is almost ready. I can't believe it. Hey guys, don't ever forget. Get in the zone, auto zone. All right. I'm telling you guys, that place is going to kick butt. My only concern is, and look guys, as much as I want people to spend money up here, of course, of course I want you to spend money up here because our economy needs it. But when you're going to go to stores like that to buy tire chains and stuff like that, please buy them at the bottom of the mountain. <laughs> because when you're in a position up here where you don't have a choice, uh, they charge usurious rates and gouge the crap out of you. And look, I love my locals and I know we all need to make money, but there's kind of a fair way to do it and a taking advantage way to do it. And I don't want you guys to be taken advantage of. As I said, I don't care what some of my local friends think about that because I know you guys are why we get to live here. And so I will go out of my way to make sure that you guys do not get ripped off for anything. I will always try to point you in the right direction. <coughs> Excuse my cough. That's what I'd like to do. I just want to help you guys out. And most of the locals are super, super, super cool. It's just, you know, it's, it's part of the capitalism thing. And especially when they know you don't have much of a choice to drive down the mountain once you're here. If conditions are horrible, uh, the prices tend to go way up. And I don't find that to be too fair. <laughs> but then again, I've never been to a resort town where it was not the exact same thing. So I used to live on the big island of Hawaii and I worked at a resort called the Hilton Waikoloa Resort. <laughs> and... Uh, that was a spectacular job. I loved it so much. It was one of the most beautiful hotels ever. Right along the, uh, uh, gosh, what's that coast called? Not, oh man, not the Nepali coast. That's in Kauai, I think. Um, but anyway, right along King Kamehameha Highway, on the Kona side, there are so many incredible five-star resorts, and I got to work at one of them. It was spectacular. But it's the same thing. <coughs> Any resort town, they're going to charge you a fortune. <laughs> but anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. Unfortunately, this is our aftermath. The further we go this direction, there's, there will be a little bit more snow, but not too much. And it's 37 degrees right now. A little bit chilly. further you go this direction oh my gosh. the more snow we will find on the ground as I said it's not going to be anything significant but like look over there woohoo you might be able to build a snow mouse with all that snow or a snow ant with all that snow we got you might even be able to make a family of snow ants But this next storm, you guys, it's not nearly what they said it was gonna be now. On Monday, the original forecast was eight to 12 inches during the day and one to three inches at night. <coughs> and now, unfortunately, it says one to three inches total uh, on Monday. Or sorry, uh, on Monday. Yeah, on Monday and then Tuesday, we still could get from the beginning of the day till the end of the night, maybe a foot of snow. 
So I'm assuming we'll probably get eight inches of snow total out of this when we were supposed to get maybe close to 30 inches of snow. That was a possibility. It would have been one of the biggest storms I've been experiencing since living in Big Bear. But just my luck. Of course it's not gonna happen. And people like me who now have a non-refundable three-day beautiful hotel room for the snowstorm, I'm disappointed. I wish they had some sort of a clause up here that if you're coming up here like in, and it's and you book your your vacation a week or so in advance, but then as it gets closer, the snowfall storm just falls apart. I wish they would have some sort of a different protocol to let people, you know, cancel out, no problem. Because <laughs> I'm spending $350 a night for this place. It's the biggest room that they have at the Black Forest Lodge. But I'm willing to put this money on my credit cards because it makes me so happy to be at a different perspective looking at the snow. <coughs> Pardon the cough, guys. <coughs> you know what I think it is? This is day three without smoking any green. <coughs> ah, that'll be it right there, okay. So it's kind of like a smoker's cough when you quit. It's starting to get a little bit of a cough. I'm sorry about that. I know it's very annoying, so I'll try my best. But yeah, guys, once again, the further we go this direction, the more snow you will see on the ground. There's the Performing Arts Center. Or no, that's the Civic Center. I think it's the... Perf I don't know if that's part of the Performing Arts Center either, but I'm not sure. Wow, that's beautiful. When I was younger, guys, the water came all the way up here, right, right to the end of the road. Now you can't even see the water from here. Very sad. Hang tight, guys. So guys, I just pulled into this place called um, the Golden Bear Cottages. I had a great time staying here. It's a huge, huge, huge place. But I want you guys to meet one of my very best friends in the whole wide world. How's it going? His name is Nick. And he works here too. He makes sure that your guys' stay is absolutely spectacular here. Well, don't work here anymore, but used, well, used well, to. well. He's moving out of state like <laughs> ASAP here. But this guy is such a hard worker, and I'm telling you, every time people come and stay here, they love staying here. Um, not only because of where they're staying, but because of people like this guy right here. So I want you guys to know this is what Big Bear is all about. Even though he's moving soon, and I told him yeah. I. I, I told him jokingly I was going to call in a bomb threat <laughs> to the airport so he doesn't get to go. <laughs> but, yeah, Nick. Yeah, I, no, I appreciate it. I love you, bro. Love you. Thank you for being such a, such a close friend to of me. Of course, man. One of my best friends in the whole wide world, if not my best friend. So, you, so you can always visit. No, I'm definitely going out there. I'm definitely going out there. Sounds good. But, guys, this is the man right here. And uh, thank you. Have a good day, thank guys. Thank you. And uh, you have a good day, too. You, too. All right, dude. Thank you for being cool being on the video because I want the cool people on the videos, man. Of so course. the big right. the big bear cool people. <laughs> I'll let you get to doing what you're doing. Thank you. Alright. Thank you. Later Pe guys. Peace out, dude. Peace out. I love you too, man. I love you too. Have a good day. Get you better. You have a good day too, and thank you. I'll do the best. I can. Man, I freaking love that guy. It's just I get so much support up here. It's like if for what I'm going through, it's like other people are panicking about that and really worried about me, and it just it just makes me feel so freaking good, you guys. So yeah, so this is just gonna be a little aftermath video so you guys can see what little bit of snow we have. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I knew it wouldn't be more than like an inch. And in some places, it's, it's already gone. It's such a beautiful place, guys.
I used to have a friend that lived down this street. But not anymore. Okay, hang on. Just hang tight. Alright, let's get going again, guys. We got gosh, it's such a beautiful town, man. It is such a beautiful town. This next week it's gonna be that much more beautiful. As I said, unfortunately, it's not gonna be nearly half the amount of snow we were supposed to get. But that's par for the course with the weather forecasters in this area. And I'm not trying to give them crap. This is a very difficult area to predict weather because there are so many massive, just in, just opposite climates that meet right over this valley. We got the dry, arid desert climate that meets the moist ocean climate and it all hits right over Big Bear. So that's why this side of town gets a lot more snow than when we get closer to the desert side of the mountain range. You'll hardly see any snow out there. I find it to be pretty darn cool, actually. <coughs> so for those of you that want to come up here and not be in a bunch of snow, I know where you can stay. If you guys want to come up here and be in the most amount of snow, I know where you can stay. And that's what I would love to do. I like it a lot. And we're coming up to Magic Mountain, not Six Flags, unfortunately, but we're coming up to Magic Mountain. These people are bobsledding in the snowy conditions, which is so cool. This little roller coaster, you guys, is so much fun. It is so much fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. brother just bear with your brother one of my favorite places to stay is right here the frontier the big bear frontier i stay on the lakefront properties they have a three bedroom and a two bedroom and they are fantastic every freaking room basically has the most incredible view so we're going to go up here through the village a little bit Tight guys, we're gonna pull into this parking lot for a moment. The Elks Lodge, baby. Believe it or not, I belong to the Newport Harbor Elks Lodge and when I was in my early 20s. I was the youngest member, I think. Hang on. Okay, so we're in the village, guys. This is a nice place to stay. We're gonna stay there sometime. Obviously, we have a new place we're staying on Sunday, the Black Forest Lodge wasn't necessarily one of the elite places that I wanted to stay but I got I think the best rooms they have they're called family chalets so I think we're good and my mom's gonna be here so that's gonna make me so happy all right let's do this So we're not gonna drive through the village, we're gonna pass through the last part of the village to avoid the traffic. And we're gonna turn left here on a street called Knickerbocker, which is right next to the elementary school. Just trying to give you guys some shortcuts here, y'all. Why are you telling the tourist which the fastest way to go you're just holding up traffic for us I don't care because once again it's about you guys it's not about the locals it's about you guys obviously you guys show a ton of respect of course just just like I'm sure all of you do anyway but I I, I find it kind of rich that people up here will actually uh, give people crap like that. It's as if there's a lack of self-awareness 
to the extreme. So I want you guys to know that you guys are the most important part of Big Bear and I will never treat you guys any different. I don't care what kind of crap I get from a lot of these people. I'm not much of a fighter, but I did take a lot of jujitsu training for a long time. Brazilian jujitsu up here. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay if someone wants to try and start something with me because I'm trying to help you guys out. I'll fight for you guys 24 seven. see that <coughs> that would have been quite the pit maneuver huh guys <laughs> it's not like I'm going fast and I didn't expect him to pull out so I didn't have any time to slow down it's not like I sped up like a lot of other jerks would do to scare somebody like it's yeah so anyway guys don't ever forget you guys are what makes this town special and I clearly see that. Seeing all the smiles on your faces up here and just the pure joy that I see from all the little children up here when we have snow, there's no greater feeling in the world for me. It also reminds me how lucky I am to be here. People take so much time off of work, which costs money, the long travel to get here, the usurious rates on hotels, etc., etc. Once again, I know it's a tourist town, and every tourist town does this. I just wish tourist towns did not do this. I mean, with continued price gouging and stuff like that, it's not going to be a tourist town anymore. It's going to be a place people are going to want to avoid. It seems like we sometimes forget that Mammoth Mountain really is not that far away. And if people are going to drive from the beach two hours to get here, why not drive another three hours and, uh, and deal with like some real snow? But obviously, as I said, we want you guys here. I love you guys a lot. You guys do a lot for our town and you guys do a lot for me you guys put a smile on my face and and keep me willing and able to be doing things like this because I feel so responsible to make sure I get you guys information so you can see with your own eyes if if it's comfortable enough for you to want to drive up here or not this is one of snow summits satellite parking lots you guys so you'll park here a lot of times and then the bus will come pick you up and take you to Snow Summit. But yeah. There we go. All right, now we're back on Moon Ridge Road. Here is Walgreens for you guys to get a perspective and there's Big Bear Boulevard where that green light is. We're turning down this way. You guys, I love you a lot. I appreciate everything. Thank you again for everything. It's December 10th, 2021. You know what? We're going to go down a little bit into Moon Ridge just to <coughs> see a little bit more of the snow. But yes, I'm looking forward to doing the Calm Before the Storm video on Sunday night or Sunday afternoon. It's gonna be the first really good calm before the storm though because we have a serious storm coming. Nothing like it originally was, but you know what? I'm not gonna whine and complain anymore about it. I'm just gonna be grateful we're getting something. So, we're just gonna turn around here and head back down Moon Ridge. Look at that. There's enough snow here to, to build some like snowman midgets. Snowman little people would be kind of cool. I didn't mean to use that term, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean. Not in any way. Unfortunately, some people seek out being offended. And I, I don't want to offend anybody because I love each and every single one of you. So for, forgive me about that.
about that comment. I was just trying to make a joke. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you again for all the love, all the support. Any questions you have for me, I'm always happy to answer them. I'm an open book. I've struggled through life a lot. Any way that I can help you guys, I am definitely going to jump on it. I love you very much.